Swinburne University of Technology. Hi everyone and welcome to Foundations of Statistics. In this video we're going to be doing a tour of Blackboard to see where all of the important learning material can be found and how we can navigate down these tabs on the left hand side of our Blackboard page. So when you log into Blackboard the first page that you're going to get to is the announcements page. On the announcements page we'll be posting any important news or information, uh, any updates that you need to know about this unit. If we scroll down we can see the very first announcement which is a welcome to the unit. It's got a little bit of information here. Uh, with this one there's also a little welcome video for you to watch as well. Our next tab is the getting started tab. So this is where you should be right now if you're watching this video and hopefully you've already read this information about the expectations and about how to install the various different bits of software onto your computer so that you are all ready to start learning about statistics. If you are having difficulty with installing SPSS or having any other issues with Blackboard another place where you can find some helpful videos is in the software installation videos tab. So this has got some videos and guides showing you how to download Firefox, how to sort out Java, how to install SPSS off a disk and also off the On The Hub online store. So inside each of these folders is videos and some guides to help you with that process. Our next link is the unit outline and timeline. So here we'll find a PDF of the unit outline which has key information about the unit and the assessments and about Swinburne if you haven't been a Swinburne student before. We also have a printable timeline so we'd recommend that you print this out maybe stick it on the wall. It has a week by week list of the various different tasks and learning activities and assessments that you should be doing together with some check boxes so you can tick off as you go. Our next link is the FAQ page. So on here we've got a number of different questions that students will quite often ask uh, about things like why we use SPSS, why do we don't have synchronous tutorials, uh, and some other questions. How to get into your student email account is another very common one. So again, this would be a very good page to have a read of these frequently asked questions. The staff contacts page has the names of the two conveners uh, and also the contact information. So if you have questions that are about statistical content, so about exercises, about uh, what you're reading in the textbook, about what's talked about in the YouTube videos, then this should be going on your discussion board and I'll be showing you the discussion boards shortly. If you have a question which is of a more personal nature, such as requesting an extension for the assignment, or if you're having some personal difficulties and struggling with the course, then you can email us at sta1003 at swin.edu.au. So this email address is for queries of a personal nature. If you have questions about statistics, they need to be posted on the discussion board where the tutors will be able to answer them for you. Our next link is the weekly learning materials. So the weekly learning materials is where you will be going most often to get your weekly learning resources. The very first link has the data files that match the examples that you'll see in the textbook. It also has a, do a document, uh, an errata document, which has any corrections that we, for any mistakes that we have found in the textbook. Underneath this we then have weekly links. In each of the weekly links we will find a list of the tasks you should do that week. So normally there will be some vid a video or some videos to watch. There will be some readings from the textbook and some suggested exercises uh, and a suggestion of exercises you can do in the interactive room. Uh, and if there's any assessment such as a topic test it will mention that as well. We provide you with some the slides from the YouTube videos and links to the YouTube videos each week. The next link down, interactive room exercises, will actually take you to a separate Blackboard site.
So the interactive room is a set of practice exercises which match up to all of the topics. Uh, we, we Every week we encourage you to have a practice of these exercises. They aren't worth marks but they are very valuable to your study. The next link is the SPSS help videos. So for each of the tasks that you're going to be required to do in SPSS, uh, we have some videos for you. These particular videos are embedded in Blackboard, so these ones aren't YouTube videos. You will need the QuickTime player on your computer in order to be able to watch them. They cover all of the different things that we will be doing in SPSS. The next link down is the additional resources. So in the additional resources, uh, we also have the data files from the textbook and a few other bits and pieces uh, such as some calculators and some simulations uh, that will get referred to in the textbook. The next section we're going to look at is the assessment section. So if we click on the assessment tab, uh, we'll see quite a lot of folders inside here. The first one is a link to your grades. So this has a uh, little example PDF that will show you how to access your grades as you're completing the assessment. The second folder has your assignment. So your assignment is worth 20%. It is due on the Monday of week 8. So you have effectively 7 weeks to complete it. Uh, if you are not going to be able to hand it in time for the assignment, you will require an extension. You'll need to email the STA email address in order to request an extension. So the assignment is one part of the assessment. The second part of the assessment is the topic tests. So we have 10 topic tests. Each one is worth 2%. Some of these require you to use SPSS. Uh, you're going to use two different data sets. So the first one is called trial.sav and you'll use this one for the practice or the trial topic tests. These aren't worth marks but these are tests that you do as practice before you do the one that is worth marks. The second data set, my underscore topic test dot sav is your personal data set for your topic test. So this is your particular data file, don't get it from anywhere other than Blackboard as it has been allocated to you. Different students will have different sets of data. As we scroll down we can see folders week 1, week 2, week 3 uh, which have topic tests in them. Altogether 10 tests, 2% each. The topic tests don't have hard due dates. They have recommended dates because we would recommend that you do keep up with the material and are working week to week. But if you do get a little bit of hype behind, that does not matter. You don't need to request an extension. The test will still be there and you will still be able to complete it. As long as all of the topic tests are completed by the exam, that is the only thing we ask. So you don't need to request an extension for any of the topic tests. The next two links that we have here, Student Activity Report and Help and Tools, uh, have a little bit of administrative information for you. Uh, you can explore those in your own time. The final section that we're going to look at on Blackboard is your discussion board. So sometimes it might be hiding a little bit. If we find the tab here, My Groups, and we click on the arrow, and you should have a group number or a little link here which again we click on the expand arrow and we should have a link that says group discussion board. So we click on that and that is going to take us to the discussion board where the tutors will be able to answer our questions. So this is our discussion board and you can see we've got a number of different rooms here where you can post or answer or ask different kinds of questions. The first one is the student lounge and this area is for students to get to know one another. So this is not for statistics questions, this could be if you want to find uh, people to study with in your city or just introduce yourself, get to know the tutors and get to know the other students. Our next link is for technical issues. If you have difficulties with Blackboard or with installing SPSS, anything that's of a technical nature rather than a statistical nature, please ask your question in here. If there's a piece of information that you can't find, then we ask that you post that in the Where Can I Find link. We then have several 
threads uh, for you to go into for the particular chapters of the textbook. So here we can see modules 1 and 2, 3 and 4. On your board you will see more. And then we also have discussion boards for assignment questions and for the exam. So if we go into our discussion board, uh, here we can see that there is already one question that has been posted. Uh, if we want to post a new question, then we click on Create Thread and we can type in our own question. If we want to either respond to or read what someone else has posted, we can click on the existing link. So if I click on this link, it is going to take me into this thread and so we can see that this person has tried typing a question here. When you are entering questions, please try and be as clear as possible. So if you have a question about the textbook, please mention the exercise number or the page number so the tutor knows exactly what you're talking about. Also try and have a meaningful title to your discussion thread. So don't just put I don't understand, put an exercise number or information about what it is that you are trying to ask. So it's nice and clear for other students and for the tutor. If you see a question that another student has asked and you've already figured it out or you know the answer, please feel free to help the other students. You can click on reply and you can type in a message to the student that's asked a question. The tutors will be checking the discussion boards regularly so they will be able to confirm that the what has been typed is correct if there is answers from other students and if not they'll be able to answer all of your questions for you. Okay so let's have a practice of having our own discussion board post. So I'm going to go into the student lounge and here we can see no one has posted anything yet so I'm going to click create thread. So I'm going to have the very first announcement in there. So I'm going to start off by typing in a subject and then I'm going to type in my message. It's more of a message than a question. And then I can scroll down and click submit and here's my post. So I've got my title there and I can click on it and here is the message. If I want to reply to it, I can click reply. If I want to reply to it but I want to actually also have uh, quoting what's in it, then I can click quote instead. So I'm just going to click reply and then normally you're not going to reply to yourself but I'm going to reply to myself and then I can click submit and so now we can see the original message and we can see the reply as well. So I'd encourage you to go to the student lounge and introduce yourself to the tutors and the other students. Hopefully you're going to be a little bit more eloquent than what I was in my message here. Uh, and I hope this video has been helpful. This has been a Swinburne production.